so when we come to specific um, RTMS uh, protocols or logistics, what would be the number of sessions per week that a patient would undergo for optimal response and remission rates? And what are the pulses required during the course? And is there at all a ceiling effect at which a clinician could say um, the patient doesn't respond anymore? Yeah. I think overall, um, it depends a little bit. In our experience, uh, we see that we on average apply 20 to 22 sessions on average in depression. For OCD, it's a little bit more for whatever reason, more 25 to 30. Um, however, if you look at the, the US literature, we mm -hmm. see they more aim for 30 plus sessions. It might also be that the model is a little bit different uh, in the US, uh, um, which might explain that to some degree. Um, but I think overall dosing-wise, uh, traditionally studies have run, been running for daily sessions, so five times a week, and then uh, that basically translates into five, six weeks of a treatment course. In our experience, we have found that daily treatments uh, might be asking a little bit too much uh, from the patient, so pragmatically we've been often been using two to three sessions, and I would consider that the minimum as well. And you want to have a neuroplastic effect, so repeated administration in a week is really uh, considered. And so with two to three sessions a week, we see it's, uh, it's quite effective. As for a ceiling effect, uh, we do systematically assess the response to treatment every fifth session using a BDI or any other rating scale could do as well. Um, and that's really helpful in order to, to, to inform a patient if they're responding or not and also to make decisions to, to stop treatment. We see, for example, that uh, within se session 10 to 15, you would expect a, a slight first improvement in symptoms. For some people that can be enough, but there should be a slight improvement already. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the decision rules we use in the clinic is if we don't see an improvement of, if I'm correct, I think 40% in session 10 to 15, then we escalate the treatment. And treatment escalation in our uh, vocabulary means that we start with 1 hertz uh, TMS. If people do not respond sufficiently, then we add a 10 hertz left protocol into the mix. So we're increasing the dose in number mm -hmm. of pulses and we're increasing it into having a second shot on the left side of the brain to see if we can be more successful there. And for some people, uh, that has made a difference of suddenly turning into a responder. Then the end of treatment <coughs> is often um, um, found when we see that two assessments in a row, people are uh, tapering off or flattening out and not showing any further improvement. That's usually the, de the decision criterion to stop, which in our case is often around 20 to 25 sessions.